What is up guys? Welcome back to Pokemon News Daily for January 25th, 2019. I'm your host, Daddy Gamer Fred, bringing you a daily news show where I go over all the Pokemon news from the day, from official news to the leaks to the rumors, spamming across all media of Pokemon, from the games to the movies to the anime. So if you want to keep up to date with the latest news, make sure you are subscribed right now with those notifications turned on. If you like today's video, be sure to leave a like down below. Also, be sure to leave a comment as well, as I do take time out of my day to reply to all comments. So let me know your thoughts on today's topics, but without no further Further ado, let's jump right into the news and let's get started by talking about Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon because today is the official start date of the January Simple Symphony Online competition. The sign up period has ended yesterday, so if you haven't signed up yet, you already missed your chance to enter. In this competition, Pokemon with only one type are invited to compete. The competition features single battles with teams of three to six Pokemon, of which the three will compete in each match. Pokemon brought in via Pokemon Transporter will be permitted in battle. All Pokemon will be set to level 50 for the duration of the battles z moves are permitted but mega stones are not items are allowed but trainers may not use duplicate items in their battle team all qualifying participants in the simple symphony online competition will receive 50 battle points players must complete at least one battle to qualify so if you are in it just for the 50 battle points again you must complete one battle win lose or draw let me know if you guys are participating in the simple symphony online competition this weekend I don't know if I'm gonna actually participate this time around. I might just for the battle points because I actually do need them. But if I do participate this weekend, I will upload a video of my battle so you guys can check it out. Now let's jump into another event that's going on today, in fact, and that is the first Pokemon Go Safari Zone event for 2019. The very first one that's ever happening in South America. So if you are somehow watching this and you're in Brazil where this event is going down, let me know. And this is a freeish event that you needed to grab tickets for in order to participate in the event i believe the tickets are sold out by now but again it, they didn't actually sell the tickets it was done through a lottery system that you had to enter in to get and trainers that were lucky enough to get tickets in a 10 will be able to spot pokemon such as psyduck unknown and relevacan for anyone unable to make it to the event but still around the brazilian area will still be able to encounter many of these pokemon featured in the safari zone in the wild additionally psyduck appears to be increased globally over the weekend and currently shiny Psyduck has been found in the wild in the area of the event. Shiny Psyduck is pretty cool. I love the blue color over the yellow color of the original. Hopefully we get a confirmation of Psyduck being found outside the event in the wild. As of recording this right now, there's only been, I've seen a couple on Twitter of people actually finding shiny Psyduck, but all of them have been at the event. So if there is a shiny Psyduck mass release, which I think there are, because again this is the only pokemon from that event that is going to be released to the wild as far as the whole world is going to have some kind of participation with psyduck being released worldwide as a massive spawn for Psyduck is going to increase and stuff like that. So I could see that potentially them releasing Psyduck shiny this way. But of course, let me know in the comments if it does happen. And again, I'll probably have an update for you guys in tomorrow's video if we do get any updates on this shiny Psyduck being released worldwide. In smaller news, Pokemon Duel got a new trailer for an event slash update due to drop around that app's second anniversary and i believe that is today or yesterday this new event has kind of already started that's why and i actually don't know the date when the pokemon duel got into the app store i should look it up but again pokemon duel i don't play i played it when it first came out and i realized what type of game it was and i was like <laughs> it was it's not my cup of tea but i do know there is tons of fans of pokemon duel so i wanted to include it in today's news and also the adding necrozma to the game so that's pretty Cool. And to finish up today's news video, the Pokemon company put together a list of things you can do in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee after you completed the game. So obviously this list is going to contain minor spoilers, but basically go over catching the legendaries that are found in the game and being able to rebattle gyms and obviously defeating master trainers. And to be honest, that's pretty much it for the post game of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Weird enough that they called this article post game because again it's like 
barely anything compared to what Pokemon had in the past, but I enjoy Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee post game. Again, I haven't dug much into it. I've been trying to complete the Pokedex so I can get my shiny charm, but I enjoyed Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. And I feel like it had the same post game a little bit more than what it had originally with Pokemon Yellow. And that kind of is disappointing because I wanted to see more, but at the same time, I am happy with the game. Now that's going to be it guys for today's news video. Let me know your thoughts on today's topics that we went over from the Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon January online competition. Are you going to participate? Are you even interested in participating in an online competition just for battle points at this point? Or are you just waiting until they, you know, introduce some online competition for the Let's Go games or for the Gen 8 games? What are your thoughts on this brand new Safari Zone event that is going on in Pokemon Go? And are you hyped for potentially catching yourself a shiny side up? Let me know if you are a Pokemon Duel fan and you're out there <laughs> updating a game and getting whatever in-game items that they're handing out this weekend. I, again, am not a, a huge fan of Pokemon Duel, but let me know if you are. And again, that would let me know, should I cover it more on the channel? And also let me know your thoughts on the post game inside a Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Do you enjoy the post game? Do you even think there is a post game? Let's talk about it in the comment section below. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy and my friend on Instagram and Twitter. And you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.